you've both uh, you made uh, films in Scotland before. Um, what brought you back there, and, and why whisky? Well, um, I mean, the, the, the story was about a, a group of kids on community payback, uh, that is, community service, when they're, if you don't go to prison, you reprieve from prison, but you have to do community payback for minor misdemeanors. So they're doing that, and um, they, one of them develops, uh, discovers he's got a nose for discerning fine malt whiskey. Um, well, that makes it Scotland, really, because that, that's where the whiskey is produced. I mean, the, the first scene where I, we're actually tasting whiskey, where I come back from hospital with, with Harry, I remember Ken the, g giving us one over. After we'd done a few takes, Ken, they gave us one, and he says, just try something different, just stank this one, you know, just, just take it back like a shot. But it was like, about that. So it was like three whiskeys. So I took it and I was like, oh, you bastard. <laughs> yeah, he's good for that. Paul, I wonder, what, what's the thing you, you most like about working with Ken and Ken the same? What do you most like about working with um, well, I suppose the things we don't have to discuss, really, in a strange way. You know, I mean, I've got absolute confidence that uh, at the end of the day, I suppose we kind of get excited or angry or curious about similar things, and so it's, so it's nothing forced. It wouldn't work if we were, you know, I had to try and persuade Ken to try and do something, or he asked me to write something I just I couldn't, couldn't do. So it's probably the things I like most of the things we just don't need to discuss. Uh, and, um, mm -hmm. and uh, but he's a tough collaborator, mm -hmm. but uh, we also have mischief, and I think the secret is we talk more about life than we do about film. Mm. Film has got to be demand to be made, really. Otherwise, if it's just shall we, well, why not? You know, it you shouldn't make it. It's got a demand to be made, mm -hmm. and 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 this one came out of uh, out out of a, a rage about what's happened to. A lost generation who will have no work and no future and no possibility of, of realizing their potential. How did you end up getting this role in the first place? Was acting anything you thought about at all? No, no, I'd never done any acting, you know, no experience whatsoever. And working in a community centre, volunteer work, and Paul Laffer, he was doing research. He came and spoke to me, me and a group of boys, you know, had a chat, asked me about my life, told me about the story, and it just reflected each other. You know, but I never made the first two auditions, and then. Okay. Paul gave us a phone call and gave us a kick up the backside, mm. and we went for it. A lot of sort of the, the reviews from Ken and, and early reviews have been remarking about Kes and how the similarities. I wonder, is that something you saw, or is it sort of after the fact that you, you thought? No, that? no, not really. Um, I mean, I think the wasted potential is is such a broad theme that you know you can make many mm. films on that, arising from that broad generalisation. That's what made us mm. wound us up, I guess you could say, mm. and. And out of that came this story. What, what do you hope people take away from the film? Just to, uh, you know, don't give up and make the right choices and hopefully give people a chance. You know, we need more people like Harry out there as well. Yeah, to encourage yeah. people. Yeah, just to encourage yeah. people, yeah, and keep them on the right track. You know, and find yourself in a circle of friends who you can trust and have a laugh with. Mm. You know.